In the extend phase, students deepen and solidify their learning by making connections to related concepts and ideas. It is here where teachers challenge students to broaden their understanding of the concept through new experiences. Students apply what they've learned to different situations and practice critical thinking and problem solving skills. They organize and generalize information as they further interact with the concepts. This allows them to transfer their learning to real world applications. During the extend phase, students delve deeper into the learning topic by engaging in additional activities that are related to the concept being addressed in the lesson. A collaborative approach to these activities can help students see things from different perspectives and allow them to construct deeper meaning and more complex understanding. Peer interaction and discussion also help them refine their communication and teamwork skills. Asking students to apply knowledge and skills from the previous phases in different ways allows them to elaborate on their learning. It provides practice for using new information and strengthens their ability to retain the concepts beyond the classroom. Yeah, find some different pieces. I want you to take five pieces to begin with, and I want you to drop them all down in there. They don't have to necessarily be the same size or shape or length just yet. We'll edit that stuff here in just a second. Emperor. Scorpion? Yeah. Cool. What trait? Uh, body hairs. Body hairs. Nice. Okay, so you know what you're doing? Perfect. Uh -huh. Make sure you're showing variations. Okay? So, like, more hairs, less hairs, something like that. Just do a little research, figure it out, and then how is that going to help it, and what's that going to look like over time? As students interact with a learning concept in multiple ways to organize and generalize information, they increase the amount of time spent consolidating their learning. Research has shown that extended practice is essential for learning new concepts. I've got four <coughs> topics right here, okay? And you get to pick one and I want you to write it at the top of your paper and you are going to create a quick argument over these topics, okay? First question, should schools abolish homework? Second question, should all students receive free breakfast and lunch? Third question, should teachers be accountable for poor test scores? And four, is online learning effective? Just pick one, write it at the top for me, please. But you are going to write a very fast two paragraph, it's not gonna be a real long paragraphs, two paragraphs asserting your position and defending it. Now, each paragraph has a purpose. Paragraph one, you're gonna make a claim. You're gonna make a claim sentence just like these about your stance. You're gonna give a reason for it and then you're gonna explain why your reason helps, okay? Then paragraph two, you're gonna do one of your counter arguments and then you're gonna figure out a way to go against and refute that counter argument. So you're gonna provide what some people might say and then you're gonna provide why that's not right, okay? An important goal of education is for students to be able to use what they've learned in the real world. The extend phase provides students opportunities to use their learning to think about real world problems and applications. I was saying that times have changed and mm -hmm. people have, get influenced more by social media and there's like new like, points of view like they were saying. So like it's not the same way as it used to be before. Maybe sometimes they were more strict about stuff than what people are now. Right. They think about currently what's happening in our uh, country. Uh, the court is having to rule on online purchasing. The last time they actually ruled or set a rule or Congress made laws about taxing that the purchases was like before the Internet. Right. And so now it's going to the to the Supreme Court because these on online companies are saying, hold up, you know, that law doesn't apply to us. And are they going to just go by what the law says? Are they going to think broadly and think, of course we didn't think about people buying things on Amazon or eBay, right? So that's another case where the Supreme Court's going to have to make a decision. And there's a lot of other factors that go into that. We've seen that the extend phase of the 5e model plays an important role in helping students develop deeper and broader understanding by applying what they have learned. 
Giving students time to manipulate and use information helps them organize and generalize their learning for transfer to real-world applications beyond school. Next, we will look at the evaluate phase to see how ongoing evaluation helps teachers assess student progress toward achieving the objectives of the lesson.